uh, the, the, the sun, the sun in and out of the clouds, that's a real thing. Okay, them weird lips though, them weird lips though. Oh, I got like, I, I can't, can't talk today, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this will be my very, very, very first questions and answers video. So if you would like to see what I'm going to be answering to some of the questions that you gave me, then please, you know what to do. Keep watching. So I pretty much have, whoo, I keep looking at the viewfinder. I'm so not used to having red lips on when I record, so it's looking very weird. Um, so I don't want this questions and answers video to be too long, so I'm only gonna be answering about three or four questions. But at the end of each and every question, it's, what are you saying, Kato? At the end of each and every questions and answers video, you are more than welcome to put down below another question. If you do have a burning question that you'd like me to answer, put it down below and then I will do them in the next uh, questions and answers video session thing, okay? Wow, I can't speak today. All right, anyway, getting into it, these are some of the questions that I have received off of YouTube as well as on Instagram. I actually did a Insta story where I was talking about I'm gonna do a Q&A and some people put in some questions and I'm gonna answer them right about now. So, shall we get started? Let's get started. Okay. So, uh, Nokaya says, Nokaya, hi Nokaya, because I know you, she's always on my Insta lives. So Nokaya says, what have you learned in the beginning stages of 30 that you wished you knew in your 20s? So basically, in the beginning stages of my, actually I do have a blog post that I did with regards to what I've learned since turning 30. I will link that down below. But one of the most important things is you don't have to do what everybody else is doing. I'm extremely different to a lot of my friends and the people that I surround myself uh, with. I was all about pleasing other people, such a people pleaser, wanting to do things for others, very, very pressurized into uh, impressing others and things like that. Once I got to 30, I realized that no, 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 babes. It's about impressing me. It's about making sure that I'm happy with whatever I choose to do and how I want to do it. It's not about impressing other people. I do not care for that anymore. Also, another very important thing that I also learned is to just be easy on yourself. A lot of the times in my 20s, I used to put so much pressure on myself just to do everything right and to get it right and to do it all the time which now I realize that you know what it's okay it's okay to take a minute sometimes I need to take time to myself sometimes I don't have to push myself as much as I would have in my 20s there's quite a few things that I've learned if you would like to see a video on that then I really don't mind doing one for you I would like you to just let me know down below all right, and then uh, I have a question by Eno underscore Mott. Eno asks, one question I would like you to answer is how many siblings do you have and would you maybe make a sibling tag by any chance? Well, I have my sister who you guys have seen on the Just Got Little channel but also Beauty Konese, but all together there's six of us. So there's three boys and there's three girls. Of course, I would love to do a sibling tag, probably do it with my sister, or if not, I would do it with my older brother because, um, oh girl, my bra could be popping out. Could do it with my older brother. I could definitely do that, but yeah. Yeah, there's six of us at home. Three boys, three girls. The next question is from Adene underscore M, I think. Uh, Adene says, you look like a very bubbly person. What gets you going in the morning and what inspired you to start a YouTube channel and why beauty? Okay, first question is, what gets you going in the morning? Honestly, I'm naturally a morning person. My friends hate it. My friend, I've got a friend, Busi, she hates it because normally in the morning, whether I'm going to work or not, I'm up at six and I'm up and about, I'm doing things. I really don't know what gets me going in the morning. Um, I'm just up in the morning and I'm normally very, very bubbly in the morning. And then come nighttime, I just normally like that naturally i've always been a morning person my sister hates it because i always bother her in the morning and then the second part of her question is what inspired you to start a youtube channel and why beauty to be honest um 
I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel. I've always, always wanted to do it, but I was so overcome with uh, shyness and, oh, what would people think? Or what would my family think? What would my friends think? What if people at work kind of discover that I have a YouTube channel? What am I gonna do? Is it gonna impact me? But I've been watching YouTubers for years now overseas, and I thought, you know, I could do this. But one of the biggest things was that I felt like I was too old to do a YouTube channel. I was like, I should have thought about this when I was 22. I should have thought about this when I was 21 or something like that. But then I thought, no, you're never too old to do a YouTube channel. You're never too old to freaking do anything. So at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it anyway, girl. I'm going to do it anyway. I love beauty. I find beauty in everything. I draw beauty uh, from everything. So that's what I decided to do. Even besides, before my YouTube channel was my blog. And my blog was always about beauty anyway. So for me... That's probably why I decided to pick this particular social media platform, you know? The next question is from Dineo from Sheer underscore D on Instagram. Dineo, hey Dineo girl. Um, Dineo is like, babe, please talk about how you draw sources of inspiration for your blog, your channel, work and all that. I often feel overwhelmed and when I have too much going on and I just wonder how you manage to do it all so well. Listen girl, I don't sleep. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know. The only thing that I can honestly say is that I draw inspiration from everything around me. I draw inspiration from clothes, from makeup, from traveling, from everything that's around me. And I find the time to do it. Why do I find the time to do it? Because I really love to do it. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, and honestly, it's therapeutic. I know that uh, Sibu in his video on my channel mentioned that doing YouTube is very therapeutic. For me, YouTube, blog work, Instagram, anything that is 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 something that I draw a lot of inspiration from, I, I, I love to do it, so I don't mind. It's not like a, a job for me. It's not a job for me. It's actually something I really enjoy doing. I make time for it because I know how it makes me feel when I do it. I feel a lot happier. I feel a lot more inspired. I really want to get on with it because it's fun for me. Um, I never feel like it's a chore. Once I, 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 if I ever, I do get to that point, I'm going to be very worried because once I feel like it's a chore, chances I'm not going to want to do it anymore. So for now, honestly, it's all I've ever wanted to do. I really enjoy it. I don't mind doing it. Okay, and then I got asked by uh, Nirasha, if I'm not mistaken, uh, what uh, industry I'm in or what do I do? Uh, basically, I'm in the construction and engineering industry. Can you believe it with all this makeup? <laughs> Basically, that's all I'm going to say. I'm in the construction and engineering industry. You choose to fill in the blanks. The final question is also from Nirasha and somebody else who asked me on YouTube as well. Would I ever do a house tour? So I can, I assume that you guys have seen bits and pieces of our home, me and my sister. Um, would I ever do a house tour? Unfortunately, not. The reason why I say that. I mean, you you see them in the you see the house bits and pieces of the house in the vlog. I understand that, but for me to actually uh, sit and do a house tour where I'm walking throughout my the house, um, I just feel like it's a little bit of an invasion of privacy, uh, like showing you my furniture and where it's from and where I got this. Um, that's really not me. Um, the only way you're going to be able to see it is through bits and pieces in the vlog. You might see me in the kitchen, you might see me in the bedroom, but where I'm physically walking you through the house is not something that I think I'll ever do. Uh, home for me is a sanctuary and I love being in my home. And I just, I just, you know, I can give you sneak peeks here and there, but a full on house tour is something I don't think I'll ever really do. And I hope you guys understand that, but yeah. That is the last of the questions from the questions and answers video. If you would like to know more answers to burning questions, please let me know down below. Really don't mind. We'll do it for you. It is a thing. Uh, other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. If you're wondering what's on my lips, it's um, the Maybelline. It's in the video, the vlog that I did, the last video that I did. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Ink, I think the red one. 
I don't know what the, what it's called, but maybe I'll put it here somewhere, but the red one. Okay, let me go now. Uh, until the next video, live in light and love, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.